What is up, y'all boys? I hope y'all are doing good. I am doing great. Today, we're going to do an updated mod list and walk around. Because it's been a minute. Um, but I'm going to do an updated mod list and walk around. And I'll show y'all everything when we get to the spot that we you know we always film at um and yeah i'm gonna just do a little bit of pob driving in the meantime All right, boys, so we are at our spot. I know the car is pretty dirty. It's been raining all the last few weeks and I have not felt like washing it. And it's been raining this entire week. So sorry guys, I did not wash the car. I think it still looks presentable. I really got to clean up the headlights and stuff. But other than that, I feel like it looks pretty presentable. Um, but this is gonna be my updated mod list and walk around. Um, you guys already seen the intro to the video and stuff, There's a little bit of POV driving. But let's get started. We are gonna get started with exterior mods. Then we're gonna move on to uh, performance. And then we're gonna do interior, but I don't really have anything interior. But I'll show you guys like my trunk setup and stuff. Um, but let's get started with exterior mods. So exterior mods, we got chrome badging, really simple uh, with the chrome trim. Um, this doesn't really count as a mod, I've done this before. But the front bottom grill, I, I took out the OEM piece so you could see the intercooler. And honestly, I think it looks sick like that. We've got fog lights because these fog lights are OEM plus, but this year does not come with them, unfortunately. Um, we got a front lip off Amazon. I would link it below, but I'm gonna be completely honest, guys. I do not believe it exists because I've looked for it and I do not see it. So I just don't think it exists. We are currently sitting on OEM wheels. Um, these are track 3.8 track stocks for the BK1. Um, they're like 19 by 8 or something, 19 by 8 and a half. I'm running a 25 mil spacer in the front and I'm running a 30 mil spacer in the rear. As you can see, my feminine is mint on both sides. We're moving on to the rear end of the car because I don't have side skirts or anything, but got rear spats these are off amazon and then i got chrome badging all around this is this is uh, oem plus but all this is oem plus and then as you guys can see the best part about the rear end is my enzo clear tails so these actually got custom made by clears r us originally i believe the tail lights are going to run you between four to five hundred and to get them cleared it ran me another three or four 350 i think shipped and everything and honestly he did a great job as you can see they're all chrome down and stuff took out the red lens did a good ceiling i do still have the amber light i could take it out but honestly i kind of like it i feel like it looks feel like it looks good but i could always change it if i wanted to but i honestly don't dislike it i do actually like it so moving on as you can see we're gonna move on to performance mods because i believe that is currently on my exterior mods. Um, we'll move on to performance, then I'll do suspension, and then we'll get on to interior because I forgot suspension is a big part of the car. Let me pop the hood real quick. You 
guys can see, got an intake, and I've got the forged motor spark blow valve, and then I've got, you see down there, oh, catalyst downpipe. So I am running the engine intake, forge, motorsport, blow off valve, and then I'm running a turbo XS catalyst downpipe. And paired with that, I have an ISR street exhaust, which is the muffler, but no resonators. So it's loud, but not too loud. It's, it's honestly sounds really, really good in my opinion. And you get really good pops and bangs. And on top of that, you know, you can hear the boost from the engine intake because the car is not too loud. I'm also tuned on an Alpha Speed Go tune. I think I'm dyno to be making between 290 and 300 wheel horsepower. Um, if I was a manual, I'd be sitting around 310, but automatics make a little less power. I'm not really sure why, that's just how the platform is. Um, suspension, okay. So for suspension, I have, for suspension, I have all the control arms in the rears. I have all ISR and Godspeed arms in the rears. And up in the up in the front, I've got slotted struts, which can get me around negative 11 camber. And same thing with the rears, I can get around negative 11 camber. Um, and I've got the top hats. So I do have a lot of adjustability if I wanted to add camber again, because I was running around negative 11 all around at one point, but not anymore, We're kind of back to the stock look. Um, but the suspension I am in, am on, it's flyer struts and three P air suspension. Um, let's show you guys the trunk setup real quick. I think my oof, my trunk is a mess. Don't even. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff back here. But as you guys can see, we got the low life projects little sticker on there. The manifold is right there, and then we got two compressors. One is only hooked up, though, never hooked up the other one. Honestly, didn't really need it, so I never spent the money to hook it up. It's just there for looks. And when I sell, if I was to sell the air suspension, I'd sell it as two struts. Other than that, I mean, we've got an interior mod, but it's not really an interior mod. It's just the floor lighting. Let me show you guys real quick. So it's just that. Nothing else done to the interior, really. Uh, I mean, I've got the Genesis badge right here. I got my little 3P controller right there. Other than that, it's really just stock on the interior. And honestly, I like the OEM Plus look. I would love carbon steering wheel, but I'm not about to drop 700 or 800 on a carbon steering wheel right now. Not really in my budget. Uh, however, I do plan on, you know, repainting the wheels and getting my headlights uh, cleared because I feel like they look kind of shitty. But this is the current ride height of the car. I think I ride pretty good. I have a good ride height, good fitment all around. And the car honestly looks really good. I'm, I'm happy with how the car sits. Um, other than that, I don't think I missed anything. Um, I good on my maintenance done and whatnot. Oil changes in good, all that good stuff. But yeah, I don't think I missed anything else, guys. So that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If there's any questions or anything like that, just let me know in the comments. Anything that you guys think I should do to the car that it's really missing, let me know in the comments too. Other than that, I appreciate y'all boys tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch y'all boys in the next bang. Peace.